Hey y'all, it's Tammy and Chris with Collard Valley Cooks. And you know what, it's summertime and it's getting ready for that grill, uh, to get out there at the grill and have fun with the family. So we're gonna mix up two things today that you can mix up ahead and have it ready. So go ahead and get it ready for those hot days. That's our delicious barbecue sauce and our rib rub in our third recipe book. We're gonna start with barbecue sauce. Get you a saucepan. This is gonna simmer for about 20 minutes on the oven. Simmer, and it's going to be delicious. We store it in a mason jar. Um, if you got an old ketchup bottle, uh, it works great in one of those because then you can just squirt it on your hamburger or whatever you're making. So let's get started. Matter of fact, we had a lady tell us the other day she made this sauce and it was the best she ever had. All right, we're gonna stop, start with a cup of tomato sauce. Cup of tomato sauce. Next, a cup of water. Things you already have at the house. Now we're gonna use a cup and a half of ketchup. That's a lot. So just go ahead and take the top off of it. Make sure you got plenty of it. All right, there's a cup. Now we need a half cup. Two thirds of a cup. This time I'm gonna use the other cup so I can tell what I'm doing. Here it is, two third cups. Now if you don't like that much vinegar in your barbecue sauce, reduce it to a half cup. Two thirds cup, vinegar. That's apple cider vinegar. Y'all wanna see what kind we use. That's how, that's the kind we use. Mmm, smells so good, molasses. Um, this is gonna be a half a cup of good old molasses. If you don't have any molasses, you can use a dark corn syrup. Half cup. If y'all want to see what brand we've got, I'll show it to you. It's good on a butter biscuit, y'all. Alright, we're going to put this in. All the goodness out of here. Mustard. A teaspoon. That ain't much, is it? Teaspoon. So we're going to put in a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of onion powder, onion powder, half a teaspoon of roasted garlic powder. We use the badea. It smells so good. It's better than regular garlic powder to us. All right, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of this cayenne pepper. And then we've got paprika, and we're going to be using smoked paprika, and it calls for a whole teaspoon of it. Okay. That should get our spices. Great thing about mixing this up early is you got it done, you got it in the refrigerator, and boy, you're ready to cook. All right, so it looks like we've used everything laying here except our brown sugar. A cup of brown sugar. 
I was looking at the molasses. So it's a cup of brown sugar. You're going to want to pack it. Like you always do with brown sugar. And now we're going to read off everything and make sure we've got it all in here. We've got ketchup, vinegar. We've got the molasses, the brown sugar, the paprika, the black pepper, the tomato sauce, the salt, the onion powder, the water, the cayenne pepper, the garlic powder, and the mustard. We are ready to simmer. All right, Chris, the team, you didn't put in the black pepper. Now, you're going to use coarse black pepper. If you've got a restaurant black pepper, that is more coarse. It just looks pretty in your barbecue sauce. Um, so, we're going to get a teaspoon of this coarse black pepper. And now we can mix up our barbecue sauce and get it on the stove top. We're going to bring it to a simmer. And it probably wouldn't hurt to use a wire whisk. All right, get you a whisk because you've got all that ketchup in there and that molasses and you're going to want to really get it mixed in good. So you're also going to want to bring this to a boil first and then put your lid on it and simmer it for 20 minutes. Don't boil it, just simmer it. That's a, you have a tiny boil. Simmer means put it on low, okay? Typically the lowest low. All right, now it's time to put together our rib rub. I'm just gonna throw it all in a jar and mix it up, shake it up. All right, so this rib rub recipe is right up under that barbecue sauce recipe. You're gonna use a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated sugar. So we'll put those in first. Now we're gonna do a half cup of kosher salt. A half cup, y'all. Pretty, ain't it? Nice and white. White as snow. All right, half cup of kosher salt. We're gonna use a half cup of seasoned pepper or, of course, black pepper, which is what we have, and hopefully this won't make us sneeze like crazy. This is a half cup of black pepper. Half cup of paprika. And there's no need to use a smoked paprika, but most of the time you're using the smoker anyway. Now, if for any reason you don't have a smoker, um, you could substitute a little smoked paprika in here um, for the regular paprika. This is cayenne pepper. It's two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. Lord, it's gonna take all my cayenne pepper. But I got some more. Two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. And two tablespoons of onion powder. And I think it's gonna take all my onion powder. Get every little speck out of here and use it. Now all we gotta do is shake it up, baby. So just shake it up. Get it good mixed up. Boy, this is really nice to have handy for a, a nice rub for your rotisserie chicken, baked chicken, grilled chicken, pork, pork. And more pork. We use it mostly on the ribs and what pork roast, Chris? Uh, yeah, like a Boston butt. Yeah. So, um, but boy, it'd be good on chicken too. So that's all there is to it. Get you some rib rub ready, y'all. Alrighty, this is coming to a boil. So once it starts a really good boil, give it a good stir, take it down to the lowest temperature, and let it simmer for 20 minutes, y'all. 
and it's going to be delicious. We're about to grill up some chicken, too. All right, it's time to pour this up and get it in a jar and in the refrigerator once it cools down to room temperature. And it usually makes at least a quart jar and then sometimes a little bit extra. We can put the rest of it on our chicken. Yeah, we're, we're actually grilling chicken today. And so we can put some on our chicken and um, that should wrap it up. Boy, is it good. Here, let me put this in the sink. And we're gonna wrap up our video. Now look at this delicious chicken. We're gonna get that barbecue sauce on it. And today I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make our rib rub and our barbecue sauce. Just remember, if you want to use this rib rub, Chris did remind me, it does have a lot of sugar in it. So if you put it on the grill, it's liable to make your chicken or something burn. Be careful with it, okay? It needs to be on a low, yeah, you need to use it if it's a low temperature, you know, cook. like you're smoking or whatever. Okay. Or you could put it on if it's something that cooks really fast. Okay. All right. So thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook and grill up some good food. And it usually makes at least a quart jar.